All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing? We've talked about Lil Wayne being old money from Birdman and Cash Money, the label. We've talked about Tiger being old money. Hell, there are reports that Drake and Nicki Minaj in some form or fashion are old money by the one Birdman. They're just making so much damn money, they don't feel the hit like guys like Wayne who aren't as active on the road or making uh, a lot of money selling music right now. So I'm not surprised that anything comes out, but there is now a property manager suing Birdman. Yes, I'm not talking about an artist under the cash money label. A property manager is now suing Birdman and cash money for $23,900 in unpaid salary. According to The Blast, Nicholas Penzo revealed in some court documents that were filled last month in Florida that he's owed $8,900 in wages and an additional $15,000 in overtime that's based on his daily rate of about $150 a day. Pretty much his job was to handle anything that Birdman needed. His responsibilities were from handling the cleaning services to working with the contractors on repairs and doing electrical work. Damn, Birdman, you can't pay the man that was over the cleaning services? Sheesh. Penzo claims that he was only paid every few months usually in the form of a check or sometimes Birdman will break him off in cash, all right? Again, he's upset. He's claiming that he has not been paid um, by Birdman and cash money. About $23,900 is what he's suing for uh, from the years of 2015 to 2017, and he wants his money. The reason why we are bringing this up is because I believe it tells a bigger narrative if there are other people unhappy with how Birdman is treating them and more lawsuits come in in Birdman's uh, in direction, this can only help Lil Wayne's case. If there are hundreds of employees or multiple people saying, yo, he ain't paying me either, that means Birdman would lose credibility while Lil Wayne would gain credibility. And that's all good for fans if the end goal is to hear the Carter 5 project. Again, Nicholas Pinto is suing Birdman. He was a property manager who worked for the label and Birdman specifically. He's suing for 23,900 between the years of 2015 to 2017. He said he's owed about 8,900 in wages and 15 grand in overtime. And he has not received any of that. He said the only time he did get paid was when Birdman decided to break him off with a check or some cashy cash, and that was not often by the cash money label. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. I don't take it for granted. What y'all think about all this, man? This is sad, man. You know, Birdman flexes a lot, and I just, I just want everybody happy. I want people paid. I don't want to ever see shit like this hit the internet because it's hurting the music, man. And I'm somebody who believes, yo, Lil Wayne makes great music in album form to me but i feel like at some point the music is going to be dated if he's coming with the bars like we know wayne to come with him so i want this album expedited uh, as soon as possible i want it in the public but the longer we wait the more wayne's gonna have to make some tweaks to the project which for the consumer is not good i'm a fan of the music and this is holding us back from the music thank y'all for the time let's support uh, employee suing Birdman for 23.9. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!